Riker riders, we've got some packages for you. Since your bike doesn't come with the stereo and the one offered by Can-Am only comes with two foreign speakers but not much volume, we at Breaker Stereo and Performance have developed some pretty serious sounding packages. Now these packages include everything you need to complete a full system along with a plug and play do-it-yourself harness along with templates for mounting the speaker pods and an amp mounting plate that sits in the front storage area. These things make it clean and easy to install. So stay with us as we go over and give you a full installation tutorial on our Stage 3.5 Riker system. What's up all, I'm Josh from Breaker Stereo and Performance. Now welcome to our channel in which we review and demo all the best in car audio, performance, suspension, and more. Cause we don't drop stock. And if you're like us, where stock just doesn't cut it, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Now, since the introduction of our first Riker package, we have come a long way. Last season, we introduced a few different packages with the Kicker and the Rockford Pods being the most popular. Now this year, we'll continue with these packages, but there will be an option for a plug and play harness that will make installation not only easy, but quick. And in this video, we're gonna be going over our Riker Stage 3.5 package that comes with everything you need to install it on your own in a minimal amount of time with only a few basic tools, but more on that later. First, let's go over the equipment that comes in this package. So this comes with the MTX Bluetooth controller as your source unit, model number MUD-BTRC. Now this is water and element resistant and can be either flush or surface mounted, but we recommend the handlebar mount because it's easier to get to while riding along. Next, the app, which is the Sound Digital Evo 400.2. Now this amplifier will do 132 watts RMS times two at four ohms at 12.6 volts. Now this amp is small enough to be placed in the front storage compartment, and we even include a custom amp mounting plate so it hides the wires and still gives you room for your gloves or whatever small items you want to store. And the pods are the Rockford Fosgate M2 WL-65MB. Now these are six and a half inch coax speakers with built-in RGB LED lighting. And the Element Ready Design stands up to the outdoors. These speaker cones are made of injected molded polypropylene with UV ray inhibitors. Also a one inch grill mounted aluminum dome tweeter. So it's loud and nice and bright when you're on the road. And these pods are made of UV stable ASA plastic. Now this full pod and speaker is IPX rated for water resistance and it has gold plated and marine graded brass terminals. And on the back, it has a rotatable illuminated rear badge. Now the specs on the speakers are 150 watts RMS and 600 watts peak. And the frequency response is 40 Hertz all the way up to 24,000 Hertz. And just so you know, the dimensions are 9.6 by 7.1, by 8.2. These also include black and stainless steel grills so you're able to choose which color you like. This also has the option for the Kicker RBG LED light control with wireless remote. Now as mentioned there's an optional plug and play harness that we have designed. This makes installation very easy and even if you have limited installation skills we're going to walk you through the install in this video. Alright so let's go ahead and head out to the showroom and I'll show you how easy it is to install this. All right, so this is a 2019 uh, Riker, and this is the 600, but this is gonna be the same across the board, regardless of what year or what engine size. Okay, so these are the tools you wanna go ahead and get. Drill bit set, some wire cutters, a drill, unibit, 10 millimeter, and then a T30. You also want a panel popper, some masking tape, and some scissors to cut out the template. So we're gonna provide for you screws and spacers, some screws, the Velcro, Wire ties, they won't be yellow. I'm just using yellow to highlight where we're gonna put them in so you know exactly where to put them. You'll get an amp rack that goes in the storage compartment. This is the Bluetooth adapter with the wire already attached. These are power and ground that go off the USB, your power cable. And then we have a harness here for the speakers, the ground, and the LED. Start off by taking off the storage compartment, taking these four clips off. All right, nice. Pull back the gas cap, take off these four clips. Take off the panels. There's a clip here. Now we're gonna take the screws off. T30 right here. 
Now remove the storage compartment, press down on these clips, and then from the nose piece, pull up. And then go ahead and disconnect the power and ground off the USB. Set that aside. Remove the hood, grab your 10, and remove the bolts. Next, grab the speaker harness and start on the negative side. Take the speaker cable, slide it in between these two panels. Leave about a four finger length. Grab the other side, do the same thing. Grab the speaker cable and the positive and negative and just set it in this area. Next, grab a wire tie. And where that hole is, line it up around there. It's gonna go around and run the wire between the bar and the outer skin. Go ahead and tie the wire down to the bar like the opposite side. And go ahead and zip down these wires next to the horn on that same bar. Next, take the remaining cables and run them through the center area. Making sure the wire is underneath that crossbar. And go ahead and position these wires so they're not in the way of the hood when you put it on. Now we're gonna wire tie these down to this existing plug next to the engine. Now go ahead and take the power wire and attach it to the positive side of the battery. And for now, run the cable loosely. Go ahead and tighten down the positive and negative. And then run that cable in the same manner in between the bar and the outer skin. And then we wanna make sure that our tie rods are clearing. So when we're steering, we're not catching any wires. Go ahead and zip tie down to the existing wire in this area. and also to the existing wire right underneath the headlight. Go ahead and run that power wire up to that same channel as the other wires. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the wire right on top of this wire that sits on the engine. Okay, so we're gonna wire tie in this area here and that area should be safe away from any heat, any melting, just like this. And we want to make sure that we're running that down that full length. Okay, next, going to grab the Bluetooth controller. And you'll get a piece of foam adhesive. Go ahead and wrap that around the handlebar about an inch away from the edge. Then take the clip. Wrap that around. Insert the Bluetooth controller. And then secure it with the nut. Next, we're gonna run that wire along the existing cable, going from the handlebar to the bike, and then wire tie here. And also on the bottom. Now run this wire through this loop, just like this. And you're gonna to wanna to do each thing one by one. So first take the RCA head, push that through and then take the second RCA head, push that through, and then the rest of the wires will follow. Now take that wire and tuck it downward towards the front of the bike. Okay, follow those wires that are there. Okay. Now we wanna make sure we're completely away from that steering shaft, okay? So just check so you know where it's at. And then you're gonna tie this wire down to the existing wire that's in this area. Okay, and then we're gonna take the USB plug and we're gonna run it around our cable that we just ran right now. We're going to zip tie it to the wire that we just ran. Okay, go ahead and grab the storage compartment and I'll show you where to put the holes and just disregard those holes that are taped over. Okay, so go ahead and grab the storage compartment and we're gonna to start to make some holes to run the wires through. We have those four holes there. Grab your drill and your unibit right below where those two lines intersect. Make that hole three quarters. 
that one will be 5 8 and then the last two will be one half okay next grab these two supplied cables these are for the Bluetooth controller and the RGB controller and we're gonna plug that in to the cigarette lighter plugs so just make sure you're doing red red black black and then run that through the bigger hole that has the RGB chip in it next go ahead and put your speaker wires through that same hole and the power wire goes above it along with the ground then take your RCAs and do the hole right and do the other bottom hole along with the remote turn on and then go ahead and take those positive and negatives and run those through and then at this point plug your USB positive and negative back on black is the bottom and red is the top all right, go ahead and put that storage compartment back in. And then you wanna be pulling the cables at the same time. You wanna pull those tight to keep them away from that engine. Okay, make sure everything's nice and snug. Go ahead and plug the positive and negative for the Bluetooth controller and the RGB controller. Okay, be careful. Make sure you're connecting red with red and black with black. Next, grab the amp plate. I'm gonna run our wires through that, starting with the RCA. And the remote. And then your speaker wires and your positive and negative. So that's what that should look like. Go ahead and grab your amplifier so we can start to wire it up. Now the writing is positive, okay? And then the non-writing is your negative. All right, so now once that is together, plug in your RCA. All right, so let's go ahead and set the settings while we're here. Go ahead and set the crossover to high pass. We're gonna preset the amplifier's crossover type, crossover frequency, and we'll match the gain with the DD1. Now make sure not to tamper with these settings Doing so could void the warranty on the speakers and or the amplifier. Okay, next grab your screws and your spacers and then put that screw in with the spacer behind it. And what that's going to do is gonna lift that amplifier up so we can tuck the wires in underneath it. Go ahead and start with this screw here, then here, then to the right and then to the left. Go ahead and put your end caps on and then go ahead and tighten everything up. Make sure that shuts and we're good. Grab the brackets for your pods and break them apart just like this. Go and go ahead and cut your templates. All right, and your tape. Let's go to the bike. Place the templates. Make sure that you have that small gap in between. On the panel, you'll see where it actually creases and you wanna keep it right at that crease. All right, go ahead and tape that down. Now you're gonna to wanna to be careful, there is a harness back there so when you're drilling these holes be very careful that harness looks like this so you may have to move that around a little bit okay go ahead and grab a small drill bit for a pilot hole and let's put those two pilot holes in now again be careful of that wire that's behind there move that out of the way okay next grab one that is that's a few sizes up make it bigger I'm using a 730 seconds all right and then our final hole here which is a 9.30 seconds. Okay, next grab the bracket and put the bolt in and the nuts behind it. Grab your Allen wrench tool along with your 13 millimeter. Go ahead and tighten that down nice and tight. All right. Go ahead and do the other side as well. Now again, get your pilot holes going. And on this side, there actually is a tube that you wanna look out for. So be careful of that. Okay, go ahead and repeat. Put your bracket on. Then go ahead and grab your pod and you're gonna get this tool. 
This will allow you to attach it to the bracket, pop this panel open, and then insert that tool there. And then you're gonna wanna back it out until it's flush. And then go ahead and place it, tighten it up, and then you can twist these Rockford logos right side up. Repeat and plug in. Now go ahead and drop your fuse in here. In your fuse holder, we're gonna change out that third fuse right there from a five, and we're gonna go in up it to a 15 because that is now gonna run our USB, our Bluetooth controller, and the RGB controller. All right, go ahead and tuck in the fuse holder and then screw in the two screws that hold the compartment on. Put the side panels on and pop in those clips. And also the four on the top in your hood and we're good to go. I still remember the window of the car that you went through That's fucked up, but I'll never forget the shit we've been through And I'ma do whatever it takes to convince you Cause you might just everybody yeah, wanna know that'll work. Me that'll work. That'll work. Okay, this package combines great sound quality and volume so these Rockford Paws are extremely popular amongst Riker riders, and this package is our most popular. With the addition of the plug and play harness, this package makes installation relatively easy. If you're interested in this package, there's a link in the description below, taking you directly to the webpage. Also, we'll leave a link for our other packages as well. Now remember, we do have financing available. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. Now, a little bit of a warning here. If you do want the plug and play harness, give us a couple days to get that together, but we'll do our best to try to get it out to you as soon as we possibly can. Again, my name is Josh. I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.